I'm just too screen, bitch. I can even roll in peace. Why? Everybody knows me. Yeah, I can even go to sleep. Why? I'm rolling on a beam. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Guac, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a trap base, a stability trap base design I made the other day. Um, sadly, I don't have anybody to help me test it out, so I will have to just, you know, kind of show you how it's done. But anyways, it's a pretty cheap build. Let me go ahead and show you guys the cost before we get started on this. Um, oh, it already showed up at the beginning. So 10,500 stone, 2,000 wood, 600 metal frags. Alright, that was weird. A whole bunch of lag just happened. I don't even know. But anyways, like I was saying, you're going to need an extra 20 high qual for the shop front because that's going to be needed for this. Or not really needed. Or not the shop front, but the vending machine. It's not really needed, but it is like a... It's a, it's a bait to get people over here. But anyways, let me just get right into the little tour of this base. It's nothing really. And just before I get started showing you guys, um, it's not really a base. So, I mean, your loot's not secure. So don't leave your loot in here. Um, and there's not going to be furnaces and stuff like that because it's not a base. So don't start hating in the comments because it doesn't have all these furnaces and stuff like that to make an actual base. But anyway, here we go. Go through the front door. Have another door after that and another door after that so it's three doors to TC or one wall I guess if you don't have honeycombing and you just have like five boxes in here it's nothing really it's just you know get your loot kill somebody get your loot you can take it back to your main base the upkeep on this is going to be 1500 stone almost or 1419 almost 200 frags and barely any wood um actually the wood is because I don't think I upgraded a half wall over here yeah so there's not gonna be any wood I meant to upgrade that stone let's see brings up to 1460 so not really too much but and then here we go right through here is where the trap is close the door here's your vending machine put whatever in it put some pretty uh, luring stuff over here drop down you got the shotgun traps um, you're, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have a friend down here or you can be down here also um, trying to listen to somebody in the vending machine or you you know you can be down here or your friend can be down there and you're just right here talking to the person you see him get on the foundation over there trying to buy something tell your friend that's down here just go ahead and shoot it so they shoot it breaks the floor breaks the shotgun traps kill him and there's no way to get out because I put spikes down here so you can't jump but anyways if there was no spikes down here that they would pretty much just be dead instantly because the two shotgun traps there's no way to escape that so you really don't need these but it's just a nice little thing to have just in case you know I don't know it's just something that's nice to have and all you have to do to get it back is just go ahead and uh, say you kill the guy come out your door come over here loot the body or your friend that's down there your friend can be down here loot the body without dying uh, just place this back like that just keep it twig place this there and you got your stone back and pretty much it's a uh, I wish I could have somebody here to show you but it's really easy and a little role player thing. I had a little I had a dude commented on my last video saying that the the role player roof is not necessary. But I mean it's just for the aesthetics or aesthetics or whatever. Uh, I don't know why he was so butthurt about it, but it's whatever. You can also do this. I didn't do it, but you can also do that and uh, put a huge wooden sign up here, like so. Uh, I don't know if I can do it with the huge one. I think I just, it has to be the large one. Let's test it out. Oh, no, never mind. It has to be half walls, I believe. Yeah, it can be half. It has to be half walls, I guess. I don't know why. But you can do it with the huge wooden sign, too, I'm pretty sure. You have the huge wooden sign. Just do that. Got a little, little thing. I don't know. It looks pretty ugly, kind of, but. I don't know, they don't have the pillars in the game anymore, so you can't really do that. And I guess it's some somewhat of a thing to do. And uh, let's just get right into the tutorial, guys. I'll show you guys how it's built, and let's do it right now. So you're going to want to start off with three low uh, foundations, like one, two, and three right there, and just put the regular one like this. You can put one uh, half wall right there, and then just go triangles around the whole thing, like so. Oh my gosh like that and just upgrade everything to stone right now make sure you upgrade that little half wall before you upgrade the foundation like that place this right here make, make this one stone this one that's going to be right here is going to be twig um, place that there 
This is where your door will be. Let's go ahead and place walls around the whole thing. This is where your vending machine will be right there. And this is where your shop front will be. Just upgrade everything to stone or sheet metal, whichever one you prefer. Uh, if you want it to be more secure, I guess you can go with um, sheet metal, but it's not really necessary. Because you're not going to be keeping too much loot in here. And let me just go ahead and show you where the TC will go. It'll go right here in this corner. Let's place the doorways. And you don't have to uh, place this right here, but I find it a lot easier if it's there because you can actually like stand on something. So I prefer it to be there, but it doesn't have to be there. It's not really necessary. Just uh, you know, so they can't really jump. If something happens, like maybe you forget to load the turrets, they can't just like run in here or something. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and put this in here like this. Put your doors on. And now this is what you're left with. Now what you're going to want to do is go to put a low foundation there and a high one right here. Upgrade them. Uh, actually, if you want to put the spikes, you're not going to put a foundation right here. Or you're going to need to at first. Just, you know, like, like uh, this. And then place this here and this there. Like that. Connect those. So if you want the spikes there, you're just going to delete that. If you don't want the spikes, you can keep it there and upgrade it to stone. It doesn't really matter. And now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and um, if you want to do the spikes, just come down here. Uh, I, I'll, it's a lot easier if you do it down here. Just destroy that. Let me get some spikes real quick. And I'll just back up over here until I find a spot like that. And then just go ahead and place these back there. And... Place this like that, upgrade to stone, and you're done pretty much. If you don't want to do the role player area or roof and stuff like that, this is pretty much what you're left with. Um, I, pref I I think it looks a lot more um, appealing if it has a role player thing because this area up here just looks pretty weird. It looks kind of suspicious if there's nothing, like no roofs or anything. Like I put chairs like around right here. Just, you know, make it look a little bit more um, welcome to people. Upgrade that. Put your roofs on. You're going to have to put a roof right here. Upgrade everything to stone. And I believe you're done. Um, these are actually supposed to be sheet metal so people can't just pick into your base. I forgot to do that. Um, it's not letting me upgrade to sheet metal right now because um, one second. because I placed the TC like against the wall. So you're going to want to have to upgrade that to sheet metal before you place the TC against the wall. Same with boxes. If, if there was boxes down here, it wouldn't let you upgrade it from outside. So let me just do this so I can show you. Upgrade that, you know. Get your TC back down. I messed up um you don't have to put the boxes the way I put the boxes but I just it's the easiest way to get to all of them at the same time because if they're too far back then you can't reach them whatever right there easy to jump in easy to jump out go ahead and it's the last part right here um I don't know which what works better which placement I just put them I put these like slanted a little bit I don't think there's any way to outrun them I really don't know but I'm pretty sure this will maybe not this one maybe it, this one's way too slanted uh, I knew that was gonna happen Fuck. but anyways let me just pick that up instead all right there we go but anyways like this just place them like there so they actually kill the person make sure like n there's no way they can escape 
go ahead and place this back and this is pretty much your entire base done um if you guys do decide to use this uh, and you want to like if you record it and stuff just go ahead and um like put a link in my comment section like if you upload a video with it i would actually not want to see this i haven't used it yet because i haven't really done any trap based videos or not videos just i've never really done trap bases on actual servers because i just never get around to it but i'd like to see your guys as a content on it maybe i'm going to do some if i can get a server that i actually like to play and do this on but yeah hope you guys enjoy the video and if you did enjoy I forgot to put that and if you guys did enjoy the video go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel leave a like on the video comment let me know if you guys enjoyed it or not and stay tuned to the next one guys